welcome to my channel, The Swain's Shoebox Sun. My name is Val, and this is the place where I like to show videos of mostly unboxings of boxes that I have packed for Operation Christmas Child. Sure, if you stick around to the end here, I have an unboxing for you, but if you stick around to the end, I'm going to show um, of some images from the Aurora, Illinois processing center. I was a volunteer there last December and it, in addition to seeing me you will see another familiar face. You will see Trish from Bird Feed. She also worked at the processing center on the same day at the same time at the same station as I worked and so we have some photos of our time there. We had a very enjoyable time navigating the processing center together. For both of us, it was our first time volunteering at a processing center and we we enjoyed ourselves. We enjoyed each other's company and we even had dinner the night before. We don't live super close <laughs> to a processing center. So we both traveled up there. It's like a five hour drive. We both traveled up there the night before and so we had a real good time. So, on to the boxing. This is a box for a girl. It has a Christmas cat theme. I call this box Meowy Christmas. You may have seen my video last year, right before collection week, I, I had an unboxing of a uh, puppy Christmas box and that one was called Yappy Christmas and I'll link to that below if you would like to watch it if you haven't seen it yet and you would like to watch it. So that one was Yappy Christmas. This one is Meowy Christmas. I used a regular shoe box and it was already red but I put some green duct tape around the sides of the box. I added a piece of scrapbook paper that I cut up here and place that over the label and I also put some scrapbook paper on the top and the sides of the lid just to make it look more festive. I have some things to add to the box once I repack. I have this note and photo. This is a, also from the same scrapbooking uh, kit scrapbooking paper per page kit. It was like animals Christmas and it had some real cute dogs and cats images on it, Christmassy ones. And so I wrote the note on a piece of that paper. I included a family photo on the back. And I also have a few other little tidbits that I'm gonna just add to the box for some fun. There's Christmas kitties here. This one says Santa Paws. Here is a paw print that's a Christmas stocking. This one says, may your days be hairy and bright. And this one says, let it snow. And this one says, feline festive. And then I also have a play mat here to add to the box that I made. And I make these little play mats. They double as a dry erase on the back. And these can just be laid flat to play on, perhaps use as a placemat to eat on. Like for instance, if the child has a puzzle to put together or has Play-Doh to play with or has a game like a memory match game, these could just be used as a flat clean surface. And I make these by using scrapbook paper that I, 12 by 12 scrapbook paper that I cut down to, in two pieces, six inches wide by 11 or 11 and a half inches long, I forget which, so that they'll fit nicely in the box. I, and then I laminate each piece and then I tape them together in the middle so that they fold. And I include dry erase markers and a note explaining to the child what this could be used for. And if you're interested in seeing how I make these play mats, then I will also link to the how-to video that I uploaded early last year showing how I make these play mats. So this one just says, wishing you a perfect Christmas. 
and there's a, a kitten inside a holiday wreath. So this is the lid of the box. Some Christmas kittens, scrapbook paper that I just adhered to the top of the lid of the box. And then I believe I added a coat of Mod Podge so that when the tape is put on the box, it the uh, perhaps wouldn't ruin the paper of the box. And I usually, in past years, have waited till the very end, right before collection week, to put on my labels. But I'm on the ball this this year in 2023. I'm putting my labels on right away. <laughs> so yes, you put the label at this end of the shoebox so it doesn't get in the way of the tape that's put on to hold the box shut at the processing center. Okay, so inside the lid, there's another piece of that scrapbooking paper. You will see the phrase here, let it snow and meowy Christmas, some Christmas cats here. And then down at the bottom, it says wishing you a perfect Christmas. And I added in my own handwriting, you are so special. Okay, so here's a little squishmallow for something soft and squishy and Christmassy and it's a cat and the name of this cat is Cam and I, it's really soft. <laughs> I just love squishmallows and I believe I got this at, it was either Walgreens or Five Below, I I think if I'm remembering correctly. Her school pack, not really Christmas, but it does have cats on the pencil bag and inside she will find pencils, a scissors, a glue stick, a six inch ruler, a red permanent marker, a green highlighter, some just regular number two lead pencils. She has a blue, black, and a red ink pen. There is a school eraser in here. Just a pink school eraser. She has dry erase markers to use with her dry erase mat. She has a box of crayons. She has a red bounce ball. She has, she has some kid dough or Cento's Play-Doh, Cento's brand Play-Doh, a red and a green. So I included some little play doh cutouts, a heart, a tree, could be a Christmas tree, and I believe this is a cat. It's kind of hard to tell, but I think that's a cat. <laughs> so she's got and so she can play with her play-doh on her play mat to keep it nice and clean so she doesn't have to play in the dirt or a dusty floor. Here's a notepad that has cat images cat face images for paper and then the top is squishy and spongy she has in this mylar bag I've included a dog tag of a cross and she has some cord in here and she's got a few beads Christmas tree beads she's got a couple different kinds of cord she has a cross that she can string on the cord and then she has a lot of us maybe you've seen these a lot of us got these little mini ornaments on clearance at walmart christmas clearance and so she could even string that on her cord to make a pendant necklace or use it however she would like some of the cord is elastic and the other isn't really very stretchy at all. But she'll have some fun coming up with some ideas of what to do within this little packet. And then I also have beads. So she has beads that she can also string on her cord to make necklaces, bracelets. And I got these, I believe at Michael's. Um, they had some great prices clearance prices on Christmas beads. 
they may still have them. I got them a while ago, but they may still have those. A pencil sharpener, enclosed pencil sharpener, and inside I tucked in some pencil cap erasers. That is a dual sharpener. She has, this is a pencil, Christmas novelty pencil. It has holiday cats on it. I don't know if you can really see, but it has a bunch of different holiday cats on it. She has a couple of those. She has a collapsible water bottle. I got these in the dollar spot at Walmart. She has, oh, what should I take out next? She has a Christmas stocking that has a cat on it. So she will, she can tuck lots of things in here. I just think it's a real good quality. I got this 75% uh, off. No, no, I take that back. I got this for 90% off at Hobby Lobby. So I don't remember how much I paid, but I think it was like maybe a dollar 19 or something like that. She has some cat stickers and a little cat play scene here with some, they're like, these. this is like a color form with the reusable stickers. This one has cats on it and then some cat stickers. She has Crazy Eights card game. I chose this one because it has a cat on it, on the cover. She has, in my Yappy Christmas puppy Christmas themed shoe box, I had slippers for that had dogs on them and I got them at Hobby Lobby. Not this past Christmas clearance, but last year in 2021 after Christmas for 90% off and these have cats on them. So <laughs> cat slippers, Christmas cat slippers. Here's just a figure of a cat, a play figure. In the slippers, I have this bag, this pouch. And in the pouch, I have a Christmas scrunchie. Hair scrunchy, velvety green, and it's got some pearls on it. And she has a green bow, just a, a clip bow. And I also have some hair ties. Two red ones. And this one has a cat on it. And then she has two beaded bracelets. I got these at Dollar General. And this one says believe, and this one says love. And then some green hair clips. A puzzle. This is a, I think this is a hundred piece puzzle. And it has a Christmas cat on it very sweet. She has just a little tote, a zip tote. It's not very big, but it'll provide a way for her to carry a few of her items in along with her Christmas stocking. Not necessarily Christmas. This has dogs on it too. Well, it could be Christmas. I mean, the, the, the cats are, have red heart-shaped glasses on and the bag is kind of a green and pink, so I mean, it could it could be Christmas. And I got that at Dollar Tree. She has some Christmas socks, just um, red and white striped Christmas socks. And inside the socks, I have tucked in some cat sunglasses, cat eye sunglasses. She has a fidget spinner. This one's red. Here's her little hygiene pack. She's got a hotel size bar of soap. She has a magic towel for a washcloth. That one has an LOL doll on it. She has some cat erasers. This one has like a red collar, so it looks kind of Christmassy. And then she has some LOL um, character lip balm. She has a nail clipper, nail files, a couple of mending kits, and some band-aids. 
she has press on nails. These have reindeer on them. Reindeer and I believe foxes, snowflakes, Christmas hats. So she'll likely have some fun with those. I got these on clearance at Hobby Lobby. She has this book. I included this book. It's Santa Tells the Story of Christmas. It came from Dollar Tree. And I included this book because it's real cute. And it is Santa and all these colorful animals and elves. And they're sitting listening to Santa tell the story of Christmas on the cover. And then inside, it does tell the story of the birth of Jesus. And they're very, very nice images. But I chose this book because there is a cat sitting on Santa's lap. Bunch of stickers, chipboard stickers and skateboard stickers here of cats. So I have some black kitty cats and that one looks kind of Christmassy. And then I have these chipboard stickers, cat stickers. So she has this coloring and activity book that has cats on the cover and it says Meowie Christmas, which is where I got the idea for the title of this box. Toothbrush with a cat. Green. She has a nice comb. She has this ink pen that has cats on it. Got this from, I think Dollar General. It's either Dollar General or Dollar Tree. She has colored pencils, a green notebook, and I just adhered a sticker of a kitty cat with a red bow to make it a look a little bit Christmassy. And there's another one of those cat pencils stuck in the spiral binding there. Some stickers that have cats on them, cats and dogs, and a polar bears, Christmas themed, but they do have some cats on them. Here are some different ones. Same theme with cats and dogs. Another one. And this one. So several sheets of stickers tucked inside her notebook. And then at the bottom of the box, I wrote, Jesus loves you, and added an image of some cats by the Christmas tree. So I thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time. And like I said, stay tuned for the short video clip of some images from the Processing Center last December in Aurora, Illinois. Bye friends. Update here, friends. I forgot to show you the other things I tucked inside the slippers. I, I always do that. So she has two pair of underwear. She has another headband not another headband this is the only headband and i attached a red bow clip clip bow onto the headband and she has little elf stocking and inside i tucked in a just a mini tie beanie baby of a cat bye now